everybody. Thanks for tuning in. This is Kevin Knight with my 360. Congratulations goes out to the Boston Red Sox for winning the World Series. They had an up and down year, but they finished strong, so congratulations to them. Also, congratulations goes out to actress Kerry Washington and her husband. They're expecting their first baby. They've been married about four months, and uh, she's four months pregnant, so she must be getting it popping on their wedding night. Also, this weekend, she's going to be the host on SNL, so make sure you check that out. It should be a lot of fun. Also, congratulations goes out to my baby, Sierra. She and rapper boyfriend Future, they're engaged. He gave her a 15-carat engagement ring. Now, Sierra is one of the baddest females in this Hollywood game. Singing, dancing, she could be a model, she's such a sweetheart, and she's engaged to Future. I'm not going to hate on her. If she's in love with him, I'm going to support it, but just know, Future, I got my eye on you. Let's talk about what's going on with Ethically Challenged Dr. Conrad Murray. He is a free man roaming the streets of L.A., and I know Katherine Jackson is pissed. We saw him at In-N-Out Burger. Is that a metaphor? It's like, Dr. Conrad Murray ain't no good gonna come to you. She, he's also talking about going to Texas. Uh, he wants to get his ruling overturned, so he wants to practice being a doctor again. It's like, that's not gonna happen, son. That is not gonna happen. Let's talk about what's going on with Tori Spelling. Aaron Spelling's baby girl has a porno out. Can you it's like, ooh, I don't want to see that. She has four children with her husband, Dean, who I know she has to be paying because that girl is not cute in the least. And nobody's interested in you, Tori Spelling, especially not a porno tape. No, no, no. Uh, Wendell Wendy Williams is doing well on her show. Sometimes she's a man, sometimes she's a woman. She's up uh, 25% over last year, so whatever she's doing, somebody really, really likes it. So congratulations goes out to her. Let's talk about what's going on with the Jonas Brothers. They are disbanded. It was rumored that they were jealousy in the group, that there were alcoholism. All of that was true, so they are no longer a singing group anymore, but... Little girls, little Caucasian girls, I feel bad for you, but hey, you always have your videos, right? Let's talk about what's going on with Mariah Carey. She has a new single coming out next month called The Art of Letting Go, and she's back to being Mariah Carey, naked on the cover, basically, in her little bodysuit, looking pretty good for a 43-year-old woman. Nick Cannon is keeping that body in shape, for sure. A couple of months back, I told you about Blair Underwood being the new Ironside. That show is canceled. Told you. No, only one iron side, and that's Raymond Burr. Let's talk about what's going on with Chris Brown. Again, another slap on the wrist. I don't understand what's going on. They have it in for this boy. He's a hothead. He needs anger management. Now he's going back for the second time, a three-month rehab stint. It's like, Chris, you don't want anger management. You are a walking disaster. And if I had my say about it, what I would do is I'd get rid of all of his security. I would take him behind a building and just whoop his ass. That's what he needs to understand, that you cannot bully someone. Get yourself together. But what happens in this country, wealth, fame, all of that, that's privilege. But it's like, no, you need help. And I keep saying it's going to end bad for you if you don't handle your demons. Very, very bad for you. Let's talk about this weekend on BET. There's a show called Black Girls Rock. Make sure that you see it. Venus Williams is awarded. Queen Latifah is awarded. Patti LaBelle is awarded. The cast of Girlfriends reunited to honor their creator. So it was such a good show. Live performances. But the highlight for me that evening was Patti LaBelle being presented the award by Mariah Carey. Now, when Patti LaBelle came up to do her acceptance speech, she gave Mariah Carey her award to hold for her. Mariah Carey said, but you know I hurt my hand. I kind of hurt my hand. Patti LaBelle didn't miss a beat. She said, Hold it anyway. <laughs> so Nick Cannon, do you see how to deal with your wife? If you can't handle your wife, call Mama Patty LaBelle. She'll get Mariah Carey in line. Now let's talk about what's going on with Pebbles and TLC. Now, the bio came out on VH1, was the most successful show in VH1's history, so you know it's a hit show. Pebbles took to Twitter. She wants some shine. Now, I understand two weeks before TLC aired, nobody knew where Pebbles were, nor did we care. So I'm going to walk you through who she really is. At 16, she's in the Bay Area. I'm in the Bay Area. She gets pregnant from the biggest drug dealer at the time. She has her baby named Ashley. About four years ago, four years later, she meets George Smith. He owns the first black bank of Oakland. He's a joke. She's a joke. He's crooked. She's crooked. After that, she meets L.A. and Babyface. Now, prior to that, she let Charlie Wilson produce a couple of her singles on her debut CD. Took her forever to pay him. 
That's who she is. So then she gets with L.A. They get married. She discovers TLC. She gives them some bogus contract, takes them for everything they're worth. Then L.A. leaves her, and all of a sudden she discovers God. So Pebbles, you aren't a saint. That TV movie, actually they were being very kind to you. You just want some shine. Nobody cares. Go back to doing what you're doing, Pastor Perry. Do what you were doing a couple weeks ago or call your cousin Sherelle and maybe you guys can go to a swap meet. <laughs> I am not interested. My name is Kevin Knight and that was my 360. I want to be the relationship you can count on. I will always come back. I will.